Welcome back to Mindful Contract Administrator. I hope you all are going through a very hard time. However, sometimes the hard times gives you opportunity to learn new things, to adhere to new concepts, to adhere to new rules. For instance, there are certain new words that we have taken into account which came into our vocabulary because of the pandemic situation. There are some very common words like self-isolation, social distancing and lockdown. There are some unique words also which the creative minds have developed because of pandemic situation. Have you ever heard of the word COVIDiot? COVIDiot is the person who is not taking care of the health restrictions imposed by the coronavirus pandemic, who doesn't care about these health and safety measures. And there is a word called COVIDio. COVIDio allows you to have parties, online parties, because of the pandemic situation. So, with the changes, which we encounter in our lives. There are certain new things that we add into our lives. FIDIC is not an exception. So FIDIC 2017 version, which has been issued three years back, has taken into account most of the problems which has been encountered by the stakeholders of a project. Today, a new series will be started regarding the new aspects of variations in Philip Red Book 2017. This is the first episode. We are going to talk about seven aspects of the variations if you see the close 13 of Philip Red Book 2017 versions. Number one is the right to vary. Now let us understand the right to vary aspect. We normally call it as variations in FIDIC terminology. The likes of new engineering contract, which is developed by the Institution of Civil Engineers, they call it a compensation event. The variation close within the FIDIC Red Book completely talk about the variation to the works and the cost impact associated with that particular variation close. However, the compensation event which has been stipulated within the new engineering contract does not talk the cost aspect in isolation. It talks about the time and cost aspects together. In order to cater this time aspect, FIDIC has got a separate clause that is the extension of time clause and there are many other clauses within FIDIC 2017 version which supports the contractor's entitlement for an extension of time under certain circumstances. Now, let us focus on these seven aspects of variations. Today, we are going to talk about the right to vary. Before moving on to the right to vary aspect, we have to understand some WH questions. It is very common in many subjects. People ask, who, what, when, where, how, and why. So these WH questions gives you a solid background in order for you to comprehend who can vary the works. It is the engineer who can vary the works. Engineer is the contract administrator under FIDI credit book which is the equivalent of the project manager in new engineering contract. The answer to the second question almost lied within my first phrase because it comes without any effort. Who can vary the works? That gives what can be varied. What can be varied? It is the works which can be varied. The works which is a defined term under free credit book 2017 version which starts with a capital W and ends with an S 
represents the permanent works and the temporary works stipulated within the drawings and specification of the contract. Then it comes to the third question. When can the engineer issue variations? So it is very clearly stipulated until the issue of the taking over certificate. It gives you the timeline. When can the engineer use the variation? From the date the contract became active up to the date that the taking over certificate has been issued, the engineer is entitled to vary the works within this time frame. So we have answered three questions. Who can vary the works? What can be varied? And when can the works be varied? Then let us go into the fourth question. Where can the variations happen? The variations can happen at site. Site is a defined term with a capital S. Variations can happen at site, which is closely linked to the term contract, which starts from a capital C, which is the bundle of documents which makes the contract, which gives you the rules and regulations, the procedures for the contract. So, where can the variations happen? It is at the site. Then let us talk about why the variations has to be issued. Now, in order to answer this question, I hope you remember that in my previous videos, I was talking about certain aspects pertaining to the variations. The, the older versions of Philip Red Book talks about three different things. Necessity, appropriateness and does not vitiate or invalidate the contract. Now, if you take into account the new version of Philip, these two words, these three words are eliminated but embedded in a different way which I am going to talk about today with the new clauses. The last question, how can the works be varied? It is either by an instruction or request for proposal. It is given in the variation procedure, which I am going to discuss in my other video related to this series of videos. Let us compare what is given in Philip 1999 version and Philip 2017 version pertaining to the right to vary. As you can see here, <clears throat> it starts with variations may be initiated by the engineer. The drafters of Philip did not define the word may because it is construed in the English literal meaning. The may mean discretion. It may rain tomorrow. However, Philip identified it is necessary to give some sort of a more meaningfulness to the word may. That is why Philip defined the word may. It emphasizes one important word, the choice. The word may means it is discretional. It is not contractually obligatory. Therefore, a contract can exist without a variation. But it is highly unlikely because we humans do mistakes and circumstances cannot be changed. We are not in a restricted environment at all. Therefore, this clause will apply in 99% of the cases where there are construction contracts. Now, let us move on to the changes which has occurred. It says the variations may be initiated by the engineer and in the first opening paragraph itself, Philip 2017 identified there is a grudge between the contractor and the employer, the employer related to the omission of the works. So it emphasized variation shall not comprise the omission of work which is to be carried by employer by or others unless otherwise agreed by the parties. In the opening phrase itself, Philip 2017 very clearly mentions 
even though the engineer has a right to vary in this particular aspect of omission unless otherwise agreed by the parties the, the engineer cannot go ahead okay uh, so that is why uh, it can be it is reflected within 2017 version what are the problems which has been encountered by the stakeholders as i have told you now let us go into the second paragraph in the second paragraph in 1999 version of fee it says a contractor can object to a variation if the goods are not readily available there is only one aspect which has been stipulated in that part but in fee 2017 version there are three aspects which has been stipulated where a contractor can object to a variation number 1 if it is substantially deviating from the scope and nature of the works stipulated within the specification number 2 it is the same thing if the goods are not readily available at site number 3 the safety and health if the contractor realizes a particular variation will be detrimental to the safety and health of the rules and regulations imposed by the country he can object to variation so now one becomes three now let us understand how the words necessity appropriateness and does not vitiate or invalidate the contract has been embedded within three objections to variation number one if the scope and nature of the works described in the specification is substantially changed what does that mean that means the contract may become vitiate or invalidate it is because of the fact that suppose that you have given a contract to a particular contractor to build a reinforced concrete structure and all of a sudden the engineer wants to change the reinforced concrete structure into a beehive shaped steel framework structure now the delivery the in terms of the delivery of the particular building there is nothing changed the same number of rooms same same facilities and not only the structure has changed but see how it has substantially diverted from the scope and nature of the works described in the specification because when you selected that particular contractor you may have considered during the technical evaluation about his capacity to provide reinforced concrete about his capability of doing high rise concrete structures based on his past experience based on the tender evaluation report now all of a sudden when you change the contractor to do a structural steel work he may not have got the necessary experience to do that one therefore you are doing an unfairness to another contractor another tenderer who may have done steel structural work much better than this particular contractor apart from that the specification has to be now totally changed because it, is, it may not have got a section pertaining to a structural steel work it may be driven by different codes of practice therefore the specification has to be substantially changed which violates the first stipulation where the contractor can object to a variation number 2 the goods are net not readily available that is understood it is already there within fitic 99 version for instance if somebody orders something which can which has to be which is not available within that particular territory which needed to be imported which is substantially delaying the project the contractor can object to variation in terms of the contract the delivery of the contract number 3 health and safety measures now for in, for instance during this pandemic situation there are strict social distancing measures which has been imposed by the government 
maybe an instruction which is being issued by the engineer violates those rules and regulations then the contractor has to say i'm sorry mr engineer this is detrimental to the health and safety therefore i am not going to proceed therefore it is now very clearly stipulated within fidic 2017 version more elaborated than fidic 99 version that the contractor has right to object to a variation now if you are thinking about the previous versions you may have to build up a case based on a hypothetical scenario based on the facts that you have because it is not expressly stated during fidic 1987 version the the exercising the rights and obligations of the parties when engineer issues anything to the women fancy of his own will as a variation engineer can say it is appropriate necessity cannot be justified as such because necessity has got two different aspects number one it has to be legally abiding by the rules of the countries number two it has to be based on the contract the specification and drawings you cannot in introduce something beyond that one then it will not become a necessity to complete the works as per the initial contract keeping all these things in mind what we can see is the 2017 version has given much more benefit for the parties to understand where you can issue a variation where you can object to a variation when there is no proper conduct then it comes to the famous types of variation uh, which can occur there is not much change within the fidic 1999 version and 2017 version as you can see here but the red color portion uh, the omission as stipulated within the opening paragraph as well the omission cannot be done without the agreement of the parties there is a duplication uh, in the beginning as well as in this particular clause perhaps we wanted to emphasize more on this omission of works now the omission is viable but it has to be done with the agreement of the parties with the agreement of the parties <coughs> there is something which i always wanted to say regarding the word adhya regarding the word others the word others is not a defined term in fidi credit book not in the 99 version not even in the 2017 version so my suggestion is a future fidi credit book shall include the word others which is very clearly mentioned within nec type of contract where in almost all the stakeholders of the contract are excluded from the word others so if it is a defined term it will be less problems for the administration of the contract less disputes and more robust contract administration procedure so that is all about the engineer's right to vary the works under fidi credit book 2017 versions under fidi credit book 2017 version i will come up with another video regarding the value engineering clause which is clause 13.2 and what has been changed what are the new aspects of the variations related to the value engineering clause i hope you learned something please stay safe during this pandemic situation and adhere to the rules and regulations imposed by the respective governments to support the common public let us meet once again thank you